up people so we're back with a new video uh today's video is going to be a little bit of stretching mobility and movement so don't forget to hit the thumbs up on my channel and subscribe and leave a comment below what you would want to see more of show some love and also follow all my other social media accounts which i will link right here below just my name katie neeson um, so yeah, we're going to get into a little stretch routine, routine, if I can speak. <laughs> um, so I've been getting a lot of requests for stretch videos ever since I started doing more flexibility on my Instagram, um, especially with my hips and stuff. Um, I'm being able to get closer to the splits like almost every week. I'm almost in the split, the middle split. So I'm going to show you guys exactly the type of things that I do to warm up for these and the prep for doing the splits and how you can make it easier. So let's go. Okay, so the first one I like to start with is the straddle. So if you just go as wide as you can, you're gonna point your toes to the ceiling and you're gonna go forward, pulse forward, come back, pulse forward, come back, pulse forward, come back. I like to do this about 10 times, pulse forward, come back. So this really opens up my hamstrings, like the tightness of my hamstrings, mainly on my adductors. Pulse forward, come back, pulse forward, come back. Another thing, try not to do this. Try to keep your chest up as much as possible. I know it's hard when you're going down and it's not comfortable, <laughs> um, but try to keep it up as much as possible just so that your spine's neutral. Keep that core tight too. So point the toes up, bring it forward. Then eventually you can just come down a little bit more. Try to get your elbows down on the ground. I know this isn't, this isn't doable for most, but you just gotta breathe through it. Or even just put your hands out in front of you. Just keep breathing, keep breathing. Oh, yeah, so I like to do that like once or twice. Um, it's really good for my hamstrings, I feel the most. And then I'll go like side to side. Just get warmed up. So I've been trying, I've been working on my split game for like the past two months now and it's really come on a lot, I'm surprised. So I think it's really gonna take me at least four months until I can sit comfortably. And I'm okay with that because you know why? I, I literally have went my whole life without trying to do the splits. I've never been able to do them. I mean, if my, if my parents had me doing gymnastics, that would've been different. I would be so strong and flexible, but, and I've never been a dancer. I've always been into the gym or soccer or boxing. I've never did anything that really required flexibility so now it's not, it's not too late like I really want to get into this and I'm changing like my training around so that I can focus more on stretching and being able to move and being mobile as a as an individual who works out a lot so also when we're warming up for our splits I like to roll my hamstrings out and my adductors and my glutes basically all of my legs um, just so that they feel looser. Um, for me, I get really tight in my inner thighs, so that's where I like to do before I do the splits, is that's where I feel tight when I'm doing, um, trying to do the splits. So, um, yeah, I like to roll out my hamstrings first. Just like 15 seconds on each. And then my other leg. Oh my god, it's so tight. <laughs> I don't really foam roll as often as I should. But yeah, you want to get right in there. And then maybe move on to your glute. Which you can cross one leg over here. And lean into it to get that nasty tight part. Ooh. It's a lot, but 
And it's important here that you're breathing a lot because a lot of people don't know how to breathe, especially when they're training and stretching. Like, recommend you have one of these when you work out. You can have it at home and you can just roll roll out when you're chilling at home, really. Like it's like twenty dollars maybe, twenty dollars, yeah. You can get them on Amazon, eBay, online, store, boss, whatever stores you shop at. So next we are going to do one of my all-time favorites, which is hip rotations. So what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna roll one knee in to touch the ground, keeping your chest up, back out again. So this is external and internal rotations for your head. So next exercise I like to do, I'm gonna show you what I got. Basically, you're just going to bring one foot right forward, like this. You're just going to lean to the outside of your hip and push your knee out, like this. I like this pulse like five times. And then go back, stretch your hamstring out, breathe. Then I'm going to come forward. Those might be the best though because I'm not flexible. So I'm gonna keep your chest up and breathe. Yeah. And then you're gonna bring elbows down to the ground. Again, breathe, breathe. something that's slidey where you have something that slides on the ground but I ain't want something that slides so I'm just gonna blend the frog or shall you call it the sax position and sort of sit in it and you can sort of rock back too but here you don't want to arch your back like this you want to keep it tucked in so you want to think about keeping your hips tucked under to feel the stretch a lot more in your hips and obviously here it's gonna hit your lower back a lot so you want to Tuck that under, switch your core on, walk back, forward, walk back, forward. We'll just create more. Give a little bit more space. What I do when I'm at the gym too is I'll sit in this position with like a weight. My friend Dean taught me that at the gym. So I'll like sit in this position with like a weight. So I'll come up like maybe a little bit closer. And I'll sit with like a weight right here. Drop right into it. It hurts though. So there are my first few moves. I'm gonna show you a weird looking move that I like to do before I go into my split stretches. Is I think they're called eight box. My brother taught me them. <laughs> So basically you're going to start, I'm going to get closer to the camera, you're going to start like here, you're going to walk out until your legs can go straight, you don't want them to do that, you want them to be locked out straight, so you're pushing back onto your hamstrings and you're going to go opposite leg, opposite foot, wait what am I talking about, opposite hand, opposite foot, so you're going to go forward, push back onto that hamstring, forward, push back onto that hamstring, Forward, push back on the right motion. So, with that one, that really again helps with tightness in my hips and my hamstrings mainly. So, um, when you're stretching out your hamstrings like that and you're pushing back onto it, it really releases your hamstring tightness and it helps them feel a lot looser for me personally. Um, so I really like that one. You should include that to your daily routine or as a movement prep before you train lower body, which is really good. 
Again, I like to do it before I do my splits. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to do some Cossack stunts, like side step touches. So you're going to go wide stunts like this. So wide stunts like this. You're going to push your butt back, lean down, touch that foot, close up to the ceiling on the opposite foot. So down, touch. What this does, opens these tight adductors up and the hips. So, after a few rounds of these moves, I feel it a lot looser and more mobile, especially in my hamstrings and my adductors, which is where I struggle with getting down in my hips um, for the splits. So now we're going to drop down into the splits and see how far we can get. I did do this earlier, my split practice earlier, but again, it just goes a couple of hours by and I feel tight again. So it's something you really need to stay consistent at. So I'm going to show you right now. Let's see how far we, far we can get today. Hey glutes, so now we can get a back view of me sliding into the splits to see how far I can get down. I'd say with another two months of consistency or even a month I'll be down flat but it does take a lot of prep. So here we go. So that is it for today's video. I just wanted to run through some stretches and some moves I do before I do the splits. And ones that have personally helped me feel more open and loose before I try to perform them. And what has helped me open up my hips and my hamstrings and my doctors for prepping before I do them. Um, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Show love, tell me what you wanna see more of. I love to hear. Send me a DM, comment below. It means everything to me that you tuned in to watch this video. I hope it helps some of you. And I will continue to post my progress with the splits. I think I'll be there very soon though. If I'm consistent, I've never stuck with it this consistently. Like I always say, I'm gonna do it. And then I don't do it every day. And we both know that these things have to be practiced daily in order to improve. So. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to just be able to drop down into those splits and I want to start learning how to dance So I think a big part of dancing is having the flexibility to be able to do that sort of thing So that's partly why I wanted to do it um, So thank you so much for watching and yeah, I will see you guys soon